What's up everyone? We are going to go through three different finishes that is great for any basketball player. So, first of all, we are going to go through the inside outside pound evasion finish. Okay, so this time, if a defender is on a little bit ahead of us on our hip, our main goal is to get to the middle of the rim and finish. So we're trying to gather space, push him to our left side and finish. Okay, so when we're driving, First things first, you're going to hit ball with foot, left foot, right hand with the ball. It's going to be inside. Once you hit inside with this foot, you do not want to lean over with your shoulder. You want to stay shoulder and hip inside your frame. Ball goes to the outside shoulder, so you get that space. It's a little bump inside. You're going to push this right foot outside, and when you push out, when you push outside, you are going to finish right hand, left leg up wide off the glass okay so when you're working on this you want to go through two different ways you first you need to get the technique right and go through the footwork just catch it right here just go one dribble inside outside finish okay once you get comfortable with that then you need to go off a read so you start up top you can go you can toss it to yourself shot fake rip through get into it inside outside finish Okay, you can go live off the dribble. You can come here, get a twin cross, go into it, and then same thing, inside, outside, wide finish. So focus on that, use it a lot, go as hard as you can every time when you're working through it. The next one we're going through is the outside, inside, veer finish. So with this move now, if we're driving and we get an advantage to our right side and this player is directly on our hip, okay? He's being physical on our hip. This is going to do two things. One, carve out space. Two, change the pace and it's going to draw a lot of fouls and and ones. Okay, so when we're driving this first time, so we're going to hit outside foot. We're going full speed into it. We're going to hit outside foot. As we hit outside foot, just like over there, the ball is always going outside shoulder. Okay, we hit that outside foot, that player's still on our hip. We are going to make a lateral step with our left foot, and we're going straight into this defender, and once we go in, ball's still on the outside, we're jumping straight up, ball outside shoulder, into a finish. So when you're working on this, start in here, toss it to yourself, get a catch, you're going right here, pick up right, left, finish, okay? And as you do that, once you get comfortable with that footwork, start back here and then just make one move off of it, change your pace, get a couple hesitations, go downhill, then it's quicker outside, inside, into the finish. This is a great move again to change your pace on the finish and to carve out space. This third finish is against a rotating secondary defender. Okay, so now, now when you get this ball on the wing, off the catch, or off the dribble, and you're driving, you completely beat your primary defender. Now a big slides over, okay? So you want to do two things against a big. You want to freeze and get under, okay? So once they come over this top side, you're coming off this dribble, this primary defender is beat. You want to quickly freeze, you want to pull up, so you want to have hand to the ball, eyes to the rim, okay? So you want to, you want to make them think you're going to go floater, drop off, anything right here, okay? So it's a quick freeze here and a drop under, okay? So with this dribble, you want to freeze and you want this dribble to be out to where they really have to move their feet, okay? So now once you get this advantage, you want to go under and use the rim. So once you hit, under the rim, you want to hit under, and with this left foot right here, you want to push all the way straight out to this V angle to where you can finish over, okay? So this is a great move to freeze the, that secondary defender right here quick, get under the rim, and go finish to the outside. 